Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Quick update on my back. The last video you guys would have seen was the um, 7 for 7 or like crazy action whatever video where I caught like 7 fish and 7 casts. Um, that video I told you guys I injured my back. Uh, that was two days ago. Yesterday I tried filming a video but I only got got on the water for a couple of hours before I couldn't take it anymore and I caught a couple of dinks so I didn't even make that a video but today we're getting back on the water I feel like a hundred times better my energy's back up um my drive is there again I can breathe normally and I have some slight like lower back pain but it's nothing like it was before so I think I can do like a half day of fishing now we will see but that is the plan. Yesterday when I was fishing, I actually ran across a local here. He also has a cottage on the lake and he's been fishing this lake for two decades. I've been alive for 19 years. So he's been fishing this lake pretty much as long as I have been alive. So he knows this lake inside and out. Um, I was actually introduced to him earlier this summer and yesterday we ran into each other fishing and uh, he said he might just come by around 10, pick me up, we can go do some fishing. So that's what I'm packing for right now. If he doesn't come, I'm still going to go fishing. But if he does come, I'll go fishing with him. Hopefully he'll be okay with the whole filming thing. But I need a pack. <laughs> As you guys know, that is my uh, to-go bag, I guess you could say. It's packed right now, but I got to change a couple things up a little bit. Uh, recently, I've been throwing two things. I've been throwing little like three inch baits and I've been throwing like big seven inch baits. I haven't been throwing really much in between, just either really big or really small. So I'm going to pack some of that. I'm probably going to pack a drop shot just in case because it's going to be scorching hot today. And um, another thing is if my back starts to hurt, drop shot's a good way to go. It doesn't require much back movement. I'm going to throw on... A nice six inch six and a half inch swim bait I'm going to change this head up a little bit though the the hook and I'm probably gonna bring like a like a weedless Texas rig set up as well because um, yesterday I saw him fishing grass he may be a grass guy I don't know we'll see be kind of cool like two worlds collide he's probably more of a conventional fisherman and I'm obviously not very conventional um, <laughs> but um, It'd be kind of cool. Yesterday he saw me actually throwing a big swim bait and he's never thrown one of those. So I might, you know, I know he wants to, you know, learn a little bit from me. And I obviously want to learn a little bit from him. So it's gonna be kind of cool to uh, share some info. I, I can't wait. I'm pretty excited. But um, bring those two rods and probably bring, I'm not gonna bring a jig. I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna bring a weedless setup, like a Texas rig. And then we should be good to go. I just need to pack some baits. So we're out here on the water. I'm out here with George right here and we hit our very first spot. Got a nice, what is this, like an 18 foot boat? 17, 18 foot boat? 17 and a half. Yeah. 17 and a half. Very, very nice boat. First spot so you can catch some smallmouth or some largemouth. Uh, we'll see what, what we can find out here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They don't really, they don't really appeal to me. I guess you could say. Oh, one. No, it's large enough. <sighs> On the bottom of the lip. Swim bait. Yeah. Oh, one powder. Yeah. I haven't been to the Ganaraska yet, but I. Yeah. Well, I heard that's uh, yeah, right here. But I heard that's uh, ooh, it's like the average size, huh? Yeah. Tore my lower part. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I got another one. Have you ever fished up? Uh, any good? Oh, okay. Is it is it a shallow or a deep lake? Oh, okay.
<laughs> They're all like 15 inches though, so it's not anything crazy. Oh yeah. See that? My line jump rock fast though. My line was hopping. There you go. Yeah. Honestly, it's a rock. Oh, smallmouth spat it. <laughs> yeah, smallmouth spat it. No, it's the same one. God. Yeah. Better not be a rock fast, I swear. To oh no, it's fast. <laughs> it's a little guy. Bottom. They like that yeah. They do. <laughs> the Gambler Easy Swimmer. Gambler, it's a company down in Florida that makes them. They're up, you can find them here too. Uh, sale. Probably your best bet. And I'm back to my boat or to the dock. It was a nice, you know, nice morning fishing session. Um, I learned a lot from George. George didn't actually want to be on the camera, so I didn't really film too much on the boat or anything like that, so I didn't make him uncomfortable or anything. But um, yeah, he picked me up as you guys saw. We went out, fished a couple of his spots, a couple of our mutual spots, and a couple of new spots I've never been to before, which is pretty cool. Um, I also learned a lot about this lake. So I kind of, I, I told you guys in the beginning of the video, he's been fishing for two decades or so. He's been fishing this lake since like 1955. That's like five decades. That's insane. That's pretty much his whole lifetime as well. He was pretty much born on this lake. He remembers when most of it was just, the, my cottage wasn't here obviously or anything like that. Um, lake trout were actually still in here. He caught one of, he was, he remembers his last lake trout. Um, since then lake trout have diminished here and now we have stocked trout. He remembers all the grass changes, you know, where grass used to be, where it is anymore, now when we have more grass. Um, he remembers everything. He knows everything. So it's pretty cool to fish with someone like that, that has seen the lake evolve throughout the decades and kind of grasp, hopefully have a better idea of how the fish have situated in this lake. A lot of, lot of good information from him and hopefully he learned a little bit from me um he's uh he's gonna be looking for these guys right here now these are the gambler uh easy swimmers and ghost shad uh i whooped his butt on these guys right here he's he's gonna be going to sailor bass pro looking for these now but this is the bait that i use to cut all my cut all my fish i caught one smallmouth but i didn't even catch him he came off off a of black worm i fished a gambler um burn across for a little bit but most of the fish came off this guy right here i'll leave the combo link linked down below just a 7.2 medium heavy a bantam mgl 50 pound power pro v2 the new super 8 slick with that uh, freedom tackle jig head five out hook and the gambler on there um the bite was pretty slow but when we did get a bite it was up shallow in the grass with wind blown banks and throwing something a little bit moving he was throwing a pumpkin colored berkeley worm that's what he swears by he switched up a little bit he threw a live target like a paddle tail swim bait those cool realistic swim baits he threw damn what else did he throw he threw that he threw some different color swim baits as well but he didn't have any of these he didn't want to use any of mine but he will be looking for those now that I smashed him a little bit on it, but I uh, caught like five or so fish. He caught a couple fish as well. A lot of rock bass, but um, a great a great morning on the water. I learned a lot. Hopefully he learned a little bit. Um, he may actually be going down rigging tomorrow, so we'll see if we do that. But uh, other than that, he had a nice seat up front for me, so my back didn't hurt that much. And uh, again, I learned a lot and it was a great morning. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.